We are what our parents and even our grandparents ate. What does this mean and how do we fix it? Stay tuned. My name is Robert Needleman. I'm a molecular biologist and biochemist. Welcome to Empower My DNA. Whether our grandparents lived through famine or overate, whether our parents ate too much sugar, those choices left tiny chemical marks on their DNA. These are not mutations. They are instructions. Instructions that got passed down to us. This is called epigenetics how our environment and food shape the way our genes are expressed. Agouti mice are normally brown and healthy. A mutation in the agouti gene produces mice that are obese, have a yellow coat, and die early of heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. Agouti mutation mice give birth to obese, yellow mice. Dr. Jertel fed pregnant yellow mice with the agouti mutation extra nutrients called methyl donors, including vitamins B12 and B9. The results are profound. The extra nutrient shut down the genetic mutation. Agouti mutation mice fed extra nutrients give birth to healthy brown mice. These are genetically identical sisters, both with the agouti mutation. The mutation is shut down in this sister. The mice are genetically identical, but epigenetically different. What's truly amazing is the grandchildren were also healthy without extra in utero nutrition. This is epigenetics. A genetic mutation was silenced epigenetically through nutrition, and the change was passed on to the next generation. Our DNA is not our destiny. Epigenetics means we are in charge. Please join me for part two of this reel. I'll be talking about a human epigenetic study you don't want to miss. Thank you very much for your time today.